Hi, babe, it's Vidic here, and welcome back to Old School RSPS here with episode 4 of my Rags to Riches series. We've got some huge progress in this episode, but before we get into everything, we're giving away two $50 bonds, two winners that get one bond each. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Old School RSPS in game name down below. Alright, so we're actually gonna stop doing the easy task streak trick kind of hard to say because someone let me know that you can actually get the enchantment scroll for the slayer helmet from the pvm shop which will then let us use its boost with magic and ranged and i figured we'd use neve so we can get good tasks to burst in the catacombs but if you didn't know you can actually skip tasks for only 100k which is kind of crazy i had this plan to start bursting slayer monsters so i got aberrant specters geared up to burst the deviant specters in the catacombs Unfortunately, that's not even really a thing, and I guess I'm just stupid. They have a very high magic level, so even though I could stack them, it was all splashes. Finish up that task, and next we get Calphites. I really wish I had a cannon for a lot of these tasks, but what if we try to burst them? Nope. Duridal? You got something for me? Smoke Devils? That's usually people burst those, I'm pretty sure. And still not working for me. I'm pretty sure we need more magic levels and bonuses first. So for now, I guess we'll just keep doing these tasks normally. But you can use knives to aggro all of these guys, which was nice little help, and we hit 99 attack. And I finally caught a pest control event live. This means we get double pest control points, 80 for each run instead of 40. It's 3,250 points for an entire elite void set, all three helms, so 41 games in total. Took us just over one hour, and we got everything we needed. Never have to return here again. I never really checked out daily tasks, I honestly have no clue what they give, but the daily today is to just bury 11 dragon bones, so let's see how this works. Oh. We finally bought our whip too, so let's try out some demonic gorillas with our new little setup. I spent two full runs there, maxed out our defense as well, but sadly still no zenite. I had a few clue scrolls in the bank, so I decided to do as many of them as I could. I think you get better awards than the usual OSRS stuff, including like super combats, dragon bones, and stuff that actually costs money. After two steps, I run into this clue. I need a headband and a crozier. Exactly the kind of clue I was worried about. Uh, and sure enough, nobody is selling a single headband or crozier besides 5 mil and 20 mil offers. I think I'll pass. Apparently though, you can get a headband as a 1 out of 100 drop from bandits, and a crozier for 375 affinity points. Speaking of, I actually have half the tokens I need to get our Book of Law, so that clue's getting dropped. Gotta make some jewelry, cause these runs are way too long, and I made my own blue dehyde van braces. Clues really are the only thing not easier on private servers, because nobody sells this stuff on the GE. Could be a merchant's opportunity. We ended up dropping a couple clues, I was gonna have to make a rune warhammer, cause obviously nobody's gonna be selling that on the GE. But in the end, we have four caskets. I highly doubt this was worth our time, but let's find out. Okay, not amazing, but hey, a gilded two-hander sword. It was all worth it now. Let's see if some idiot buys this. And I have decided that I am not ending this episode until we get a Zenite from Demonic Gorillas. We've got our Void, Whip, all around decent setup. It's time for our big boost in GP. Also, a big shout out to Zip, he was PMing me a little bit, sharing me with some stuff he's going on in his life. He said he was going through a rough time and just wanted to show me some appreciation for how much he enjoys my videos. I just figured I'd take a little moment to let you guys know that I respond to anybody that messages me anywhere, in-game, Discord, wherever, as long as I see it, sometimes I do miss it, I'll reply to you. So if you got something to say to me, punk, just shoot me a message wherever and I'll get back to you. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes, pussy's wet, come take a dive. Time me up. Look up some Holy shit. There it is. Our first Zenite shard. Clocking in at a nice 117 KC. You already know I got roasted for it in the yell, which makes it even better. Checking Zenite jewelry prices, they haven't dropped at all. Still sitting around 80 to 90 mil. I figured we would have a better chance of selling it if we actually made it into jewelry. So I went to train some crafting to 98. This is why I'm happy we are on a high XP rate right now. We also need 93 magic, so I just did some more easy slayer tasks with mage. The zenite sold and the onyx bought while I was sleeping, so I guess I didn't really need the crafting levels in the end. But there we go, isn't that beautiful? 79 mil cash, and now we have the onyx anyways to make our fury. 
We also got a Spirit Seed drop at Gorillas, which is a 1 out of 600 chance. So that and a Zenite under 200 KC, I think our luck is pretty crazy here so far. Through all those Gorillas, we got ourselves to 4k PVM points. I bought the Enchantment Scroll and imbued our Slayer Helmet, so now it gives bonuses for ranged and magic. I also went on this little shopping spree since we won't be using Void at Gorillas anymore. Now that we've got the Slayer Helm, we can get a huge bonus on Demonic Gorillas with a Black Demon Task, which they count for. I extended Black Demons for 100 points and used a measly 100k to skip each task until we got one, and that didn't really matter. I literally got them on the second try. And while we wait for all my gear to buy, it's probably time to organize our disgusting hoarder bank. Look at it. Alright, so it's not the most organized, but pretty much everything has its place right now. As I get more items, I'll organize it more because a lot of the stuff is going to be getting changed out. So I don't want to invest too much time in it. But you know, we got our runes, our money, we got potions and food. We got our main gear, tools, resources, uh, just stuff I didn't want to throw away because I figured I might get it for a clue sometime. Yada, yada, yada. You got it. I've also been looking into the XP rates more now that we're actually making some money. We're currently on easy 150 times, which doesn't give us any drop rate bonus. Obviously, we're not going to go to normal, but I'm thinking we might go to extreme soon, which is 15 times. You can change XP rates, and it basically just lowers it based on what rate you were on before. So if you go down to 15 times, all of our stats will go down to a tenth of the XP we currently have. To prepare for that, I've actually been training up our attack a lot. It's actually at 38 million right now. That way, when we get lowered down to 15 times, we can hopefully train a little bit quicker because our attack level will be higher and we can wield stuff like the D-Skimmy and the Whip. Same thing with range. Look at that. 60 mil at range. That's pretty much all from Demonic Gorillas. So if we were to lower down to 15 times XP rate, we would still already have 91 ranged. Our strength would be 78. Our attack would be like 85. So I think we are probably going to go do that soon. Only thing I'm worried about is the prayer. I think I might start trying to buy some dragon bones on the GE for like a low price because when we reset, we definitely want to already have piety to speed things up a lot. And I mean, 20k seems like a, a pretty fair price, to be honest. This guy's buying 6,000 of them for 10k each. That offer will probably stay there for quite a while. So how about we just buy him for, I mean, fuck it. It's not a super big rush. So let's just put him in for 11k and try to buy 500. And our items are coming in nicely. Look at that. Well, alrighty guys, that's going to do it for episode 4 of Rags to Riches. We made a ton of progress in this episode, pretty much completely swapped out our entire setup. The Zenai drop was huge for us, I've just been waiting for that because we were able to buy so many big upgrades. And now our gear to kill more demonic gorillas, yes, I'm staying there, obviously, is going to be quite a bit stronger than our Void Glory outfit. It's hard to leave Demonic Gorillas because I just, I know how good money making they are. We're not going to make nearly as much money on any boss until we start doing, you know, raids and theater of blood. So I think I'm just going to camp Demonic Gorillas continuously for however many hours it takes to get one more shard. And with that, we're going to buy our blowpipe and then move on to some more challenging content. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you blow, 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 blow more videos. And have a nice day.